It's my feel-good breakfast show. Now, just imagine, if you will, transforming into your favorite superheroes and stepping to a world where fantasy literally becomes reality. We are in for a treat this morning as we sit down with the incredibly talented shapeshifter, is probably the best way to describe her, Micheline Dutoy, who you probably know as Cashmere Tart, about her love for cosplaying and bringing characters to life in her very own unique way. And then comic book lover. He's taken it pretty much as far as you can. Nizar Abrams now joins us as well to share his love for this art form that has spurred cinematic universes like Marvel and DC. They all have a history somewhere and it takes us back guys so good to connect with you um, I want to say thank you to both of you on different parts of this kind of wonderful ecosystem because you drive so much excitement within now my kids are starting to be introduced into this world and seeing how they are building their imagination their world is growing and expanding it's amazing Micheline I gotta ask you when when does this become an obsession. When is it like, okay, cool, I'm enjoying this, I dig it, and then it becomes, okay, I'm going to actually transform myself, because you have. You have transformed, and we absolutely love it. Where did the cosplay come into your life? Uh, so, I grew up, I didn't have any brothers, um, but I grew up with a lot of boys as friends, and they uh, all had video games. We did not have video games. Um, so, I played a lot of video games as a kid, and I really loved the characters, like Lara Croft was the first and only post I had on my you wall. See. And um, eventually it got to a point where I started loving dressing up, and it translated into actually making a career out of it. Um, and a successful career, and I love the fact that in the influencer space, it is so primed for that as well. There are so many wonderful connections that speak to lifestyle, just what you enjoy and being able to turn commercialize that which is amazing for young people to see but there is something so much fun and freeing about this and we've obviously got to dip our toes into that what does it give you on a personal level why do you think you enjoy it so much it's absolutely freeing it's so cool to be able to step out of yourself and step into something else to embody that character and it also is really enjoyable to watch people's recognition if they actually see like you from my favorite movie or you're from my favorite they're game. emotionally connected connected and it feels like you can give them that way it's almost like a kid at disneyland where they can meet the character and interact with the character and his eyes just doing the sums in his head he's like how can i afford to have cashmere tart in my <laughs> shop every day for the next five months As uh, yeah Would exactly you maybe maybe you already do maybe you've already got the action figure there <laughs> um Nizar, thank you for for having the fortitude to keep going when I would imagine as an entrepreneur, it would have been quite difficult to in this space, but you've done it, you've created this beautiful brand. What is it about comic books that first got you? Is this like a lifelong journey playing it's out here? Definitely a lifelong journey. Um, I was that kid who would be in the secondhand bookshops, corner cafes had comics back in my youth. Yeah. You know, and I think there was that tipping point. I think it's that, uh, is that Christopher Reeve Superman movie. Really? I went to the movie with all my cousins. We took up like a whole row in the cinema. And I came out of that movie, the first Christopher Lee Superman, late 70s. And I, I felt I could fly, you know. That, yeah. was, that, that was that passion, that feeling I got out of that movie. But it's all surrounded by growing up with the reading of the comics, lying on the floor, swapping comics. That was always there as a kid, you know. And then, hey, why not? Uh, you don't have to grow up, you know. You never do. And you I've proven have that, but I've absolutely proven that. You never have to unplug because there is a social set that has got multiple generations in it which is so beautiful and then we get these moments like comic-con yes. how cool is it for you who lives in the space to see yourself amplified times a hundred see people coming out here to be able to enjoy what is just an unbelievable community a brotherhood a sister there's such a cool Definitely. family connection there why do you enjoy these moments so much look um from as a collector and into these things, it's a very, a very sort of solitary type of thing, you know? Yeah. You're on your own collecting and reading your books at home. It's very... But once you get to Comic-Con, your people are there, the fans are there. It just excites you, and it's, we can all come out and celebrate together. Normally, it's like something... Back in the day, it was sort of frowned upon this geekdom, this nerd this Yeah, nerd well, look, I culture. grew up playing D&D, &D and it was like and shunned this for gives many us, years. <laughs> you know, this gives us that justification. What we're doing is great. And, and we come together as a community at Comic-Con. Yeah, so, and I, yeah, it's... 
I, I love the fact that these characters, whether I was playing them or whether I was following them in a comic book setting or later on in movies and things like that, they were my talisman. They were the what gave me strength, gave me confidence in moments. Um, so I've got to ask you, um, Micheline, favourite character that you have played? Because I know there are fan favourites and then there's your favourites. What do you think is the most powerful character you've ever played in terms of how you felt? Oh, most powerful would definitely have to be this one. Really? Yeah, definitely. If you walk around with a whip, <laughs> people give you so much respect. <laughs> this is part and you can just go. I definitely, it's also the movie that I've been loving since I was a kid. I mean, this movie came out before I was born. For sure. So I grew up with it and it's my favorite Catwoman. Um, absolutely love you. Janelle, it's made it a little bit difficult for Breakfast TV. We were like, okay, how do we position her? Where do we put it? She didn't have the whip out now for this one. <laughs> but it will come out. So, um, Micheline, I'm, I'm seeing some, some suits have come out. And I know the delusions of grandeur are here. Um, so I'm thinking maybe, maybe you and myself can play in your space just a little Listen, bit. Listen, you seem really invested in Comic-Con, so uh -huh. I would love to see you in cosplay. <laughs> All right, I know, I know which route I'm going. I have no doubt which route you and will be going. You are taking a look at, or you will have seen, and we'll put them on our social media, some of the outfits that are there for us today. If you want to see us in one of those, go and drop a vote. Maybe a vote for your favorite costume. Let us know which character you think we would suit most and why. We might just get dressed up. I'm going to say on behalf of the generations who have come before us and those, most importantly, the generations that are coming, that are going to find their place in the world because people like you are forcing this beautiful world into reality. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I am feeling a little bit emotional about this. This is absolutely <laughs> awesome, man. We are loving Comic-Con today, but we've also got to fill our babies, buddy.